Yo, 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 gamers, I'm back once again tonight. Guys, I wanted to show you, yeah, you read the title right, how to get blank plates, like just completely blank, nothing's there. I, I'm gonna go over the extent of this, what can, what can possibly come from this, from having a car with a blank plate. Uh, what I think personally is that you might be able to actually duplicate cars now without custom plates now Don't take my word for that. I wanted to post this because you know this glitch could be patched You know tomorrow the next day whenever so I wanted to just show you guys this to kind of you know Have a car that has a blank plate just in case for the future Now what you're gonna need for this is the MOC with the personal vehicle storage and the Sultan RS or the donk I've used both of them for sure for this glitch. It does work doesn't matter if you have custom plates or not. Throw yourself in an invite-only session and put your MOC on a flat surface right there. Oh, and you need a, a full 10-car garage. It needs to be full of cars and one car that you don't mind getting rid of in there. So I suggest putting an RH8 or a Fagio in there, whatever you want. Okay, and as you can see right here, this is leaving off from the last video that I just made. If you haven't checked it out, link is in the description as well as after the video. You will have a link on the screen that you can click on. Now, I'm going to I'm going to post it as like, you know, use this method right here to get glitched out. So look in the description for that. Now, as you can see right here, I've already glitched out my cars. I have the stack cars. This is the same as the duplication glitch that we were doing before. You just have to get glitched out with the stacked cars. Now, once you have the stacked cars, go ahead and go outside. Remember, you can't get in any of those cars right now because they're bricked. Part of the old patch that they did before. So now you're going to go to your MOC menu, MOC that is, and request personal vehicle from the MOC. Now, guys, you have to understand how this glitch works. In the MOC right now, the game only thinks there's one car. Yeah, we see two, but the game really only thinks that there is one car in there. And that's the car that we just got. The other car that's in there, the game still doesn't know that it's in there, okay? So what you're gonna do, make sure you haven't hit your daily sell limit yet also, by the way, uh, cause you have to go go ahead and sell this car. So make sure you haven't sold the car in the last 31 minutes and make sure you haven't hit a daily sell limit cause you, you need that to be able to actually, or you, you know, you don't need, no, let me see. Yeah, yeah, you can't have hit your daily sell limit. Um, to, you know before you do this glitch or else you won't be able to sell the car you have to be able to sell this car Okay, so what I did right there is how everybody should honestly sell a car. This isn't just for this glitch This is just how everybody should sell a car I changed my plate to a different plate from what it was before I waited for it to save and then I drove back in now I'm gonna sell this car. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to sell Go ahead and confirm that are you sure? Yes, I'm sure and there you go. The car is sold now You're gonna end up on your feet outside of LSC do not request any vehicle. Do not request any sort of personal vehicle. It doesn't matter. It, it, don't request a motorcycle from the MC menu. Don't request uh, a car from your mechanic. Nothing like that. Do not request anything. You're going to go ahead and run to a car right now on foot. See, I was actually about to until I just remembered. I was about to call mechanic, request the motorcycle, everything. So I'm going to find a car right here, run towards it. Of course, I steal a car that Simeon wants. That always freaking happens. And I'm going to drive back to my MOC in a regular street car. Now, you're going to go ahead and go back to your MOC. Remember, we sold the car that we requested from there. Now, the car that we requested has been sold to LSC. We, we should go in here and you would think, you know, there's one more car in there because remember the game doesn't know that there's a car in here it is not registered this car is just like just it's, it's just not registered whatsoever there's no other way to put it the game has no idea this car even exists so check it out i have a virus plate on it i'm gonna drive out look at this shit right here you go ahead and you drive that car out and look what happens the pl the plate actually just turns blank now I've seen many people, I've seen a few people do different things with the, with this. I've seen somebody sell 200 cars like this that they duplicated with the blank plates and you know, never got dupe detected or anything. Now I'll jump into that real quick, but you're gonna go ahead and go to your garage that's full. Remember I said you need a full garage at the beginning of the video, this is why. So I'm gonna go ahead and just replace with any one of these cars. I'm just gonna replace over one of my dupes. I don't really care about it, you know, I already have plenty of dupes. So now this car is here. Which, and believe it or not, no other car got transferred over the MOC. It's just, it's all glitched out. So you're going to go ahead and open up your internet and order another LG RH8 and put it to your MOC. And you see that? I ordered over the MOC and it didn't even ask me if I wanted to replace a car or anything. It's just like the game was completely glitched with this car. And now it actually registers that it's a real car. But you have to sacrifice another one before that. And check it out. That is the invisible plate or, you know, just blank number plate. It doesn't have anything. Now, once again, what I was going for, and you've already basically done the whole glitch, this is it. 
and I wanted to go over why I posted this. First of all, because I do think this glitch could get patched very soon. It hasn't yet, but I wanted to put this out before the glitch got patched so all of my subs and anybody else who's watching can take advantage and get at least one car right here with a blank plate. Now, secondly, what do I think we can do with this glitch after? Maybe these cars with blank plates can honestly, we can use these to duplicate later, say if you lose your custom plates or if you become dupe detected, you know, and you have a glitch that you need custom plates for, maybe we'll be able to use this car to actually duplicate with without any sort of custom plates. I've seen people already do it, but since I haven't done it myself, I will not advise that or even recommend it to anybody to actually duplicate with this blank plate. I do not know the extent of it yet, but I wanted to get the video out there so everybody can take advantage of this now. I have never seen a glitch. I think there's been one or two in the past, but I've never taken advantage of a glitch like this to be able to get a blank plate. Now, I think there's a way to also get blank plates uh, when you're ordering custom plates. If you put like symbols or whatever, it comes out blank, but it's not the same. It's completely not the same because you're putting it on a car that actually exists. This car didn't exist at first. It was just not registered by GTA 5 whatsoever. So that's what makes it different uh, for those of you that think that you know how to get a blank plate through the app. It is not the same whatsoever. This car did not exist. We drove it out. All of a sudden, the plate turned blank. Okay, the game did not know that this car was in the MOC, and now all of a sudden, it's a real car. So I suggest you take advantage of this because in the future, we might have, you know, some crazy glitch and you might not have your custom plates. This might happen. That might happen. It's just precautionary. All right. And you don't have to wait right here for your RHA to get delivered or anything. I was just driving around because I knew I'd be talking at this point and I'm just going in there and the RHA is already inside the MOC. So I'm just going to, you know, try to go in there and then you see now it's going to say you need a transfer. There's actually a real car in there now. So that's going to be it for me, guys. I'm Roll Easy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like it by hitting that blue thumbs up. Comment, subscribe down below by hitting that big red button. And turn on post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. I'm out of here, guys. Peace out.